Over the last couple of weeks, the, the Nigerian government has made some inroads, in, some positive inroads, and according to reports, they've rescued over 700 women and girls. The, the, the road to recovery for, for those who have been rescued, it's a, it's a very long road. What, what's next for them? How, what, what, what do you think the, the government, communities, civil society groups, what should they really be prioritizing now in reintegrating these, these women and children back into society? So uh, we developed uh, a tool that we call the verification, authentication, and uh, reintegration system. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a simple tool, basically laying out the various um, activities and methods of verifying people who have been kidnapped. So we need to establish the identity again. Most of them, I mean, think of it, okay. We didn't, we were, we were calling for our Chibo girls, but there, there had been news that would say, so and so number of people have been abducted. So and so number, you know, after the abduction of our Chibo girls, or even before the um, abduction, the massive scale of the abduction uh, of the abduction was one of one of the reasons why it resonated with everybody. But there have been these other abductions that our government never confirmed or conveyed. So suddenly we realized that. We, we actually had so many more people than even our Chiba girls who lost their identity. It was like they never existed until they were rescued. Mm -hmm. So the, the system that establishes identity again for them, mm -hmm. true identity, you know, we, 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 it's one of the things that we have, we've said to the government to, to adopt mm -hmm. so that it's, it's not that they are just one of the number of many people that have been rescued, okay? Then we, we also have, um, within that tool, we call it the three R's, uh, the rehabilitation, the resettlement, and the reintegration. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that... The, the, the very important, you know, psychosocial, uh, post-traumatic um, uh, the counseling that, that a number of them would require, we mm -hmm. said that has to be instant and that has to be done professionally. Mm -hmm. We've not been a society that's placed a lot of, a lot of um, importance to those kinds of, 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 of methods of, mm -hmm. of getting people to heal. We instantly just, you know, get up and keep going whenever anything happened in the past. Mm -hmm. But we're saying that those kinds of support services would need to be provided. Some of that is going on already in the camps where they're being kept. Mm -hmm. But then there is a whole work of the, the real healing process. Mm -hmm. Some of the girls have been said to, to be pregnant. Now, that completely changes everything in their lives. So the care, the support, and what they're going to need as a family. Some of them are going to be rejected by their immediate families that are saying, we don't know who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't even, we're not sure we want a child that has been said by somebody who is a terrorist. So there's going to be a lot of stigmatization going on. Mm -hmm. And so the, for us as, as a movement, we've been an advocacy movement. Mm -hmm. What we've said is that we're going to stay being an advocacy movement, let's not go entering into a field that is not natural to the way our movement is configured. However, we're going to be very, very adroit mm -hmm. in identifying partnership. And so we, 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 we're already working with some key partners in the development, in the, in the development uh, uh, sector mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, in, with other uh, uh, professional bodies mm -hmm. to sort of get um, around the very clear support that the girls that, and the women and the children that are being rescued will, will have to go through, uh, will, be, will have to be uh, given mm -hmm. in order to, to get them back into um, safe habitation and restoration of livelihood. Mm -hmm. we, we just really need this to be an episode 
that does not destroy them for life. Mm. 